Imagine yourself in a kayak. You're paddling down a river in the scenic mountains of North Carolina. It's a beautiful day. You're enjoying the easy rapids and the waves splashing in the face as you go along. You come up to a spot where water is pouring over a small ledge, and as you drift up to the edge, your heart starts beating a little faster. Time stands still for just a second. As you reach out with your blade, that's a good time to know how to take a proper kayak forward stroke. I've been a kayak instructor for about five years, uh, both as a sea kayak instructor through the American Canoe Association, as well as currently a whitewater kayaking instructor at the U.S. National Whitewater Center here in Charlotte. So I've taught the forward stroke to probably 200 or more people over the years, and today I'm going to teach you all. So there are two main areas I'd like to cover. First are a couple of core principles that are common to all kayak strokes and techniques. And those will help you better understand the second area, which are the three primary components of the forward stroke itself. So first, two core principles. The first being posture. To always make sure that you're sitting very upright in the kayak, you have a positive arch to your lower back, and that you're picking up your chest and your chin and eyes as if you're looking over a horizon line. This will allow you very good balance over a kayak, and also gives you the range of motion to access the muscle groups for the second primary uh, principle, core principle, which is torso rotation. Torso rotation is our engine that drives the kayak. Instead of pulling on a paddle blade with our arms, which uses relatively smaller muscle groups, we'll access our abs and turn our entire upper body at the core using much bigger, longer muscle groups, giving us more power, and also saving wear and tear on our shoulders. So now that I've talked about two core principles common to all kayak strokes and techniques, I'd like to move on to my second area, which is three <coughs> primary components of the forward stroke itself. These are catch, power, and recovery. Those three are easily remembered by the acronym CPR, <laughs> catch, power, and recovery. So the catch is how and where the blade enters the water. Power is literally how you get the power to propel the kayak. And the recovery is how and where the blade exits the water and transitions into the next stroke. So for the catch, sitting very upright in our kayak, I'm going to use my torso rotation and rotate my shoulder forwards, insert the blade at or in front of my feet. The power phase of the forward stroke is when I unwind my torso and bring the blade back to my hip. I don't want to pass my hip because then I will unintentionally rotor the kayak, turning it when I didn't mean to. So we stop at our hip, and then the recovery phase of uh, the forward stroke is when we allow the blade to slip sideways out of the water at our hip, Rotate our opposite shoulder forwards and transition into the next stroke. So catch, power, and recovery. Okay, going over these two core principles of uh, kayak strokes, being posture and torso rotation, as well as the three primary components of the forward stroke, catch, propulsion, and recovery, will help you have a more enjoyable and safe experience next time you're in a kayak. Thank you.